here we have the temple behind us and this is where we get ready for the chaos I don't think <laughs> I'm gonna be getting in tonight gosh a lot of people a lot of cameras a lot of police we can't get onto the pavement there's too many people so we're now just on the road this is more odd than I thought it was going to be we're just we're just on the road we're just stood on the road at the moment no we can't <laughs> we can't even get any, we can't get anywhere close so I can tell you a few things we have Jinang temple here we've got a big shopping mall here there's a metro of course which has got lines 2 7 and 14 now the new Apple store is down here we cannot get through this way like there's been a problem so I think we're supposed to go up that way and then cross at the next junction up oh, 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 oh. we're about to close the route so now the store is that way uh, and I don't know there's a police line here I guess it's a case of going further down this way. So I'm at least past this police line, but uh, close to giving up really. I think that's it and I will come back either tomorrow or the next day because that is nuts there's probably I don't know maybe 10,000 people here and it's a busy road junction on any day of the week so uh, today I was just chatting that some of the policemen's English is really good and I was just briefly chatting to them saying you know at least you know thank you and uh, it must be quite stressful for them as well oh boy Here we have the crowds and the uh, guy and his bike trying to get through. <laughs> That's uh, an Apple store of about five that were within five kilometers of here in the center of Shanghai. And I heard loads of cheering and whether that was the crowds cheering for Tim Cook or not, I don't know, but it would be interesting if they were. But uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll go back to normal in about a week. Here we are. Whew what a difference a day makes so last night it wasn't possible to get anywhere near here I thought the store opened at 10 it's already open maybe I was wrong and it's nine o'clock but yes I'll go back to where I was last night and show you but it was absolutely packed with people anyway here we are still quite a lot of security guys which is totally understandable after last night. Anyway, there's the new store. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I was running to get here for 10 o'clock. And then here's the temple, it is opposite. This is Jinang Temple, one of the largest here in Shanghai. And I think the only one that charges entry, or at least it used to. Right, let's have a look at this new store, the second largest store in the world for Apple. It is very good looking. What we have here, interestingly, is the guards taking some of the uh, rails away, probably because there's not the crowds that were expected. And I was around about over there, not even being able to see down into uh, the area. This used to be a park, I think it's Jinan Park. In fact, before that, many, many years ago, it used to be a, used to be a cemetery uh, on what was then Bubbling Well Road which is now Nanjing Lu. Here is the store front, uh, entrance directly into the metro there. I think there's a, another entrance from the metro. We'll have a look at that later. You can see it is quite busy. I think we can just walk straight in. It is quite busy in here. And then we've got these stairs even further down into this um, general sort of amphitheatre area where they're planning to do some um, kind of education activities on this big screen up there but uh, 
very interesting architecturally. Also try and show you how the shop kind of interacts with the metro station here. There we are off to two and seven, we come round the corner and boom, there it is. Apple store right there, let's just tap out, there we go. And this leads directly into the amphitheatre area. Directly. That's quite kind of bold really. So linked to the metro system. Right, one last look around. And up the stairs. There's a fairly standard uh, shop layout here. There's a specific pickup point there for internet orders. Apple has spoken about its use of environmental materials, a lot of wood around. Okay, thanks greeters, bye-bye. And back into the central square with the temple there. Okay, there's a little coffee stand in this amphitheater here. I don't know if uh, displays will happen down here. That's it, I just wanted to give you a quick view of the new store. Uh, no crowds today like last night, no Tim Cook today. It seems like he has almost a celebrity status here. I know he says he's always happy to come. And uh, obviously it created a bit of a sensation last night, probably good for Apple. Their phones are a little bit lower in the market. I think they're dropping by something like 10 to 20%. Hope you enjoyed that. See you on the next one, bye-bye.